Inspired Art. Thanks for joining me today on my channel here. We're going to do a fun pour today with some really pretty summery, well, spring summery colors. I think you all will enjoy. I hope the design is going to look fabulous today. We're going to be working on a 16 by 20 inch canvas. This is an Art of, Artist Loft Level 3 gallery wrapped canvas. And my base paint for my Dutch pour today is going to be the PPG Contractors House Interior Paint that we will be layering our base with. And then for my color choices for today, let's get right into talking about those. So I think I'm gonna go with, let's see, count one, two, three, four, five, six, not six, but seven colors today, all layered, very complementary with each other. So let me go through those. I hesitated going with a black, but I looped back around and thought about it more and I think I am going to layer just a little bit of black for my outline and then on top of that I will start off with a Liquitex Cadmium Red. This is a very deep dark red um, and then I'm going to layer it with this one is double check on that hold on one second yeah this one sorry about that I had forgotten which one I had chosen I had a couple of different oranges and I've selected this one for today it is a pearl papaya orange and it's from Arteza so it's this pearl is you know it's kind of pearl like I think it'll be really cool I haven't used this color very often but when I do it it really is a very pretty soft orange color with a pearl essence this is my rose pink from Liquitex a cadmium yellow from Liquitex and my gold iridescent from Pebeo and just a tad bit of the iridescent white from Liquitex. So yeah, seven colors today. That's a lot of colors, but that color palette is, you know, really complementary with each other. And as you think about the layering, I think they all will look really, really stunning together especially with the design that I have in mind that I will be doing and sharing with y'all. All right, so as usual, I am going to put you on fast forward for covering my canvas and covering my sides and popping most of the bubbles that I can visibly see. And we'll come back and we'll start playing around with layering and designing what I have in mind for today. I'm super excited. I really think this is going to just bring a real spring summer vibe into this particular painting. Give a real nice, bright, happy painting that you could put just about anywhere um, to make your wall smile. So yeah, I'm gonna put you on fast forward and we'll get this started. Hey guys, I'm back. I went ahead and I flooded my canvas and I covered my sides and popped my bubbles. I did go ahead and drag my finger up underneath um, to catch some of those um, drips that I saw happening. I wanna keep my design that I have in mind on top so if you can catch those drips a little bit before you actually start and then of course do it again a couple of times 
you can help control that flow that kind of takes over and starts pulling that design and stretching that design. I really don't want that to happen right now, so that's why I catch those drips right away. Um, just looking for some, any surfacing bubbles that I see right now before we begin that um, process of designing. I thought I saw a little clump in there. I had a really big clump when I was kind of spreading it out, I found, um, but I really, I got it. And that's just from the paint, uh, the interior paint that kind of got settled on the side and kind of oozed down inside the paint can, so I didn't catch it when I was pouring it into my measuring cup. Now, yeah, that's something that I wanted to share with y'all. How much paint I poured on this 16 by 20 inch canvas. Um, some people ask how much you need, and I kind of go by a feel for how thick it is that I'm pouring it on, and I guess how much I've used, probably about, I'd say, I probably used about, probably two and a half, three cups worth of the base paint on here. So that's about how much I have used. Um, I'm going to start layering our design. So stick with me, guys. Let's have some more fun. I think this one's going to be really pretty with these colors. So yeah. Hang it. Okay, let's start off with our black. Let's see, I'm kind of loving this design that I've been doing. I'm going to put just a little dot about right there where I can bring my edges up. I think that looks pretty good for my design that I have in mind. Yeah. Oh, nice blow. That gets me going. I don't foresee that the black is going to shine too much through the overall painting, so I just wanted a, a little hint of it. suspect the red will be kind of dominant in there. Actually, <laughs> I meant to put this one in the in the pool too, and this is the red violet. I'm going to do red violet on top of this red. I'm going to squeeze it in there. Yep, red violet. I meant to Put that in the pool of colors and forgot. Yeah, okay, so this red violet on top of the red almost gives it a little bit of a warmer vibe of a, you know, like a, a orange type hue. So 
Um, the combination of those two, I think, look really pretty together. Let's see a bigger size bubble that I want to get right away. Okay, and that red violet, um, this one is from the Pebeo Studio lineup. Now let's go in. Let's go in with this pearl orange, papaya orange. A little bit of this. It looks peachy looking. Got a little drop there that I'm gonna grab because I don't want that there. Okay. And now let's go on top of that with a little bit of this, it's kind of a rose pink. So over the weekend, we are very productive. My husband helped me build a few more things that I was looking for him to help me with and he made me a nice step stool that I can pull out when I do my larger paintings. I can just slide out from underneath my table, my workstation here, that he had built me also, if you recall. Um, and that way I can get up higher and reach a little bit farther with the much larger painting. So I was really thrilled that he helped me out by building that. So handy. Love that he loves to do stuff like that too. So that kind of helps. Oops, a little bit of yellow right there, didn't I? Got a little blob, but that's okay. No worries. Now, on top of that, I'm going to put a little bit of this gold iridescent. Gives it some shimmer. I think these colors are going to look quite nice together. And to top it off, I'm going to throw in a little of this iridescent white. The iridescent white, I like to add it at the end because it pulls it together, adds some brightness and contrast. And that's why I prefer to add it on top so you can actually see that contrast. Now, that's all my colors. I think they're all going to look very well together. Stick with me and let's blow this baby out. All right, so... Oh, another thing that we did this weekend was I had this blow dryer and my my little uh, embossing gun down here, which is now hooked onto my table. So I can just bend over and grab it instead of running way over to the corner and going to grab it. So just all coming together little by little. Just make some improvements as you go along and you see something or or need to make an improvement and just do it little by little. Nothing has to be done right away. You just do it little by little. So time to blow it out, guys. I'm going to start right in this area and work my way around. Mm -hmm. 
it already. And the design, yes, I am loving it. I am so thrilled already without even doing anything else to it. It looks super pretty, yes. There's a couple areas that I do want to just kind of uh, get a little bit nicer. I don't like some of these little hangers that I see right here, but I can fix that easy. So you stick your little end of your pen in there and just kind of grab it where you don't like that paint. And just kind of pick it up. Nothing major, just a couple areas that I don't like how it blew, blew out. So I just grab it and fix it. But I think she looks gorgeous. And I think I'll take you down for a closer look before we get going. First, I'm gonna just use my straw and just blow it out just a tad bit. It's just a, I buy this at, um, I think it's J and L Designs. That a little bit and maybe just, actually it's a little bit a lot it's a little bit a lot that doesn't sound right i think it's a little bit more than i can blot with the straw so i'm going to use this Try to mm. not exactly what i wanted but maybe i can help it now Oh, that's much better. That's more about what I was looking for. These colors, oh, I love how it made nice coral colors. I love it. Well, that actually looks okay. I'm not gonna bother with that one. Um, maybe a little bit. little bit right there, looking pretty. That looks better there. I'm gonna take off those little hangers I don't like over there. Get rid of just those little stringy hanger things. <laughs> Can just grab it real quick and then I'll take you guys down real quick before we start our next step into the process of incorporating the signature style and making it that much prettier. Alrighty guys, here we are. Here's the design we just blew out. And so far, I think these colors look gorgeous together in the design 
really, really pretty. I'm very happy with it. <laughs> loving, loving the choices. And I love the design so far. Stick with me. We're going to have some more fun, guys. Okay. Got my paintbrush ready. I've got my rag right here. I am going to put my focal point right about here. So I'm gonna drag in from here. Need a focal point about like that. Right about like that there. Looks good. Sorry about the noisy background. Got somebody mowing the lawn out there, so. Not our lawn, but the neighbor's lawn. I think I need to go out there and mow my lawn. I actually don't mind mowing. It's, uh, it's kind of fun, actually, sometimes. these colors. It's got a very tropical Hawaiian type vibe to it. Kind of glad that I did add the black to it because it's got touches here and there. Definitely didn't overtake the painting. And yet when it mixed in with the reds and yellows, golds um, hues, it actually made a nice, almost a, like a green in there too. So when your colors mix, you're bound to get some other colors. And that's why I like to combine certain colors because I know they will make additional depth to your painting. It'll give it more depth. I'm going to blow this little area right here. Whoopsie. <clears throat> Look at me. Don't tell me. Okay, so we're all good. Sometimes you just see one little area and you just can fix it and makes it better. Not too happy with right here, but maybe I will come back to it and either change it or just work with it a different way. So.
This one is super pretty though. Oh wow. These coral colors that have developed in this is pretty stunning. Yeah, so I come back to that area and now it's looking very pretty. What colors do you guys want to see me possibly do in the future? Do you have specific colors like in your home that you would like to see me do? Get a little dark paintbrush off of just Kind of drag some color in there. Maybe I could even do like a series of different ones that would all look good together. I've done some of that in the past. In fact, I did kind of I took some pictures of like three different uh, paintings that I've done that look so well together. And I just took pictures and posted them today. The design on this one I'm like kind of hooked on. And I kind of want to give this design a name along with the name that I give for the overall painting. I actually am going to give the design a name. So it makes it easier when people are either commissioning me to do specific types of designs that it will actually have a name for my design. And this particular design would definitely get a design name. I think she's super pretty. <laughs> I'm going to just touch up a couple other little areas that I'm seeing um, and touch up the center a little bit more but other than that when I'm finished with that I will take you down for a close-up on this beauty because I love her <laughs> I'm loving her so stay tuned guys hey guys here we are with a close-up view of this one. I actually forgot to video it before I moved it to its drying location. But yeah, here we are. I think she is amazing. Really, really amazing. Gorgeous composition. She just exactly what I had in mind. I could not be more pleased with this one. Super pretty. She's going to shimmer. She's got the gold, the iridescence, and several of the colors, the pearl essence. And I'm telling you, the combination of the colors look amazing. I look forward to this one drying and providing you with some dried results as well. So stay tuned to see those on my Instagram and Facebook account for the dried results. And I'll be posting this one in 
probably about a week on my website at www.teensinspiredart.com. I think I may even do another one with these colors. They're just fantastic. Until next time, guys, I hope you have a beautiful day and a great start to your week. Bye for now.